Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have got my July favourites video for you today. I love a favourites video. All of my favourite beauty gurus, I watch all of their favourites videos. I just like sharing the little wonders that I've discovered uh, throughout the past month. I'm going to be talking about a little bit of tech, a lot of beauty, the secret to long luscious eyelashes, which is honestly my holy grail. And we'll also talk about book recommendations. So firstly, let's talk about lashes. Also, you might not be able to see them that clearly here. Can you? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I do have quite long eyelashes, but I didn't before. I used to have eyelash extensions put in. I used to lie down for an hour and a half every 10 days. Um, or maybe it was like an hour and a half every month but then I kept topping up every 10, 10 days to have eyelash extensions put in. There really was no point because of Revitalash. Now, this is not sponsored. They have sent me this, but only because I've been using it anyway and I tagged them in a post and then they very kindly sent me some, um, which I'm thrilled about. Um, but basically it's a serum that you put on the base of your eyelashes um, and over time your eyelashes will grow like crazy. Now, there's an interesting story behind this. It was actually a glaucoma drug. So a medicine to help people with a certain eye problem. And when they applied this medicine, they realized that their um, eyelashes were growing really, really long. This happened to my fiance's grandma. And so obviously one of the clever people there, one of the pharmacists um, said, actually, I bet we can monetize that. And they've created a product which grows your eyelashes and it genuinely works. I've tried lots. I tried Rapid Lash, that didn't work. Um, I've tried generic serums from like L'Oreal and places like that, they didn't work. This is the only one that I've found that has that specific ingredient in it and thus it is a lot more than just a conditioner in my opinion, even though it's called a eyelash conditioner. I'm not sure if that's like for legal reasons this makes your eye, eyelashes grow, believe me. Um, it's expensive, um, but I think compared to what I used to spend on eyelash extensions, this is absolutely nothing. Um, I get the three mil, is it 3.5 mil? Either three mil or 3.5 mil tube, and that lasts me for six months. And I, so I've been doing this for around eight months and my eyelashes have never looked better and I always get questions about whether they're extensions. They also sent me their Revita Brow, which I'm not sure if it works yet. I've only just started using it. It's this kind of doe foot applicator and you just wipe it on. Um, I literally started it a couple of days ago, but I'll get back in contact with you in the future and let you know this definitely works. This one I'm hopeful about because I could use more, more eyebrows because these are all drawn on. I really have very little hair and it's very light. Next, we have two very acidic products by Pixi. Um, I picked these up from Boots um, and basically I wanted to find a product with glycolic acid in it um, in a higher concentration uh, because I was starting to feel a bit dull and I needed a bit more glow. And glycolic acid is a chemical exfoliant. I still use an abrasive, uh, a, mi a microderm abrasion exfoliant that I've mentioned before by Bit by Botanics and I love that, but I don't want to use that too often because I don't want to cause micro tears on my skin. So this is something I've been using daily. Now bear in mind, I use retinol as well, so I didn't want to go too heavy. So I went with a Glow Mud Cleanser, which is 5% glycolic acid and aloe vera. This is lovely. I wouldn't use this as a makeup remover. I take off my makeup with micellar water anyway, and then I go over with this and I massage it in and make a ritual about it so that the glycolic acid really gets in there. And then this is the Glow Tonic, which you use as a toner. I just put it on a cotton pad. You could put it straight on your fingers if you want to be uber eco-friendly. And this has also got 5% glycolic acid. And this is really oddly moisturizing. It's got aloe vera and witch hazel in it. Wow, these are ingredients that I love for skin. And it's got urea as well. No wonder this feels so moisturizing. This is fantastic. I bought the mini bottle just to try it out. And I'm gonna go and invest in the full sized when this finally runs out. My skin has never looked better. And I'm not just saying that, I'm not at all paid to say this. I love these products. If you had to pick one, I would go for this one. I feel like this has got more bang for your buck because it stays on your face rather than being washed off. 
Um, but yes, I'm definitely going to be upgrading the sizing of this one um, and it will be a fixed part of my routine. Next up on the subject of moisture, let's talk about night oil. So you might remember in my original skincare video, I recommended an oil by Botanics um, and I compared it to an 80 pound Luna Riley oil. Luna Riley? Sunday Riley, the Luna is called Luna. The oil is called Luna Night Oil. There we are, we've got it out. Um, but actually, this very inexpensive, I think it's 11 pounds in boots, but it's always discounted. So I would wait for a good offer, um, is amazing. I've not opened this one yet, this is a new one. Um, however, they very kindly sent me a little update of this um, and they sent me their new overnight facial oil. It is wonderful. I'm not saying that because they sent it to me. It is genuinely wonderful. When this finishes, I will go out with my own money and buy another one. It's got rosehip and lavender in it. And lavender, you only want to wear at night because it can be photosensitive. So the main ingredient in this is sweet almond oil. And then it's got argan oil in it as well. And it's got olive, rosehip, which is very restoring, and olive as well. I said olive, didn't I? Jehovah, sorry. <laughs> and I apply my retinol. I leave that to sink in and then I go over the top with this and it just counteracts any dryness and irritation that the retinol will give my skin. And you wake up in the morning feeling moisturized. You can still feel the oil on your skin. I feel like a lot of oils just disappear and my pillow ends up with all of the oil. This one is fantastic. Um, it smells lovely. It smells like nighttime. It's really relaxing. It's got uh, lavender in it. It's quite thick but it's um very easy to apply it's 100 percent organic and it is around 11 pounds as well which is just unbelievable the fact that you can get a night and a day oil for around 22 pounds and not even that much sometimes they're 30 percent off sometimes there's buy one get one free buy one get one half price there are offers on the boots points cards as well but yeah if you're on the lookout for a night oil just give this a try honestly you can thank me later it's lovely Let's talk about hair products. Um, so I have mentioned the ginger and coriander strengthening potion. This has had a bit of a rebrand and the ingredients have changed or the mm, formulation has changed. It used to be kind of a transparent white kind of body fluid color and now it's an opaque white. And normally I get really annoyed when things I like are reformulated, but this is really good. I don't notice that much of a difference. It still smells amazing um, and it still gives my hair just that extra bit of nourishment. They've also come out with an argan and safflower nourishing potion, which is a no rinse pomade for dry hair. Sorry, I forgot to mention where these are from. These are from the L'Oreal Botanicals range, a range that is, I'm finding very, very good. So I'll put this strength potion, which is a bit lighter, less greasy in the top half of my length so I don't put them anywhere near my roots so I put it like here and then I put this nourishing pomade in the ends. Let's also talk about a fake tanning product. Skinny Tan have very kindly given me this coconut water mist tanning mist to try and I love it. It is on a par with its tan and tone oil which I mentioned in a previous video which I still love but I've run out of that at the moment so I've been using this instead and I absolutely love it. It's so fresh, it's not sticky, it just goes into the skin and then it's like you wouldn't really know it's there. It's got a nice coconut smell. Very co very coconutty. That's really nice. That smells like Malibu rum. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not very streaky and I'll just spritz it over and then pat it all in. You've got to make sure that you get it all in. Um, they say you can apply it with latex gloves. I just say wash your hands well because the other day I didn't. I forgot <laughs> I got little marks so remember to wash them well lastly we have a holy grail tech product which I recently realized that not everyone knows about those who do know know about it will be like well duh but this could be a great gift for like mums or older people that might not know this battery pack you can get it on Amazon for around 20 pounds um, holds four full charges of an iPhone um, and it's really light. I have tried out so many because Will's a farmer, he's on the go all the time, he always has one of these in his pocket. Um, and this is the Anchor 20,000 value one. 
Um, it's got four full charges in it and it's brilliant. It charges up relatively quickly. We always have loads on charge and we can just pick them up and we are never without battery. I will link to these in the description box. You can get them in other colors as well, um, but it is fantastic and it's just so light. It's perfect. I ha used to have a massive one that was like the size of a laptop. Oh, I also have a couple of recommendations for podcasts as well, because I've been really enjoying podcasts. Now, for people who are fans of true crime, um, I've been really enjoying Case File recently. Um, a couple of episodes I liked recently were the Chloe Ailing kidnapping one. That was really good. I will link all this down below. Finance and lifestyle ones I've been really enjoying are the Smart Consumer podcast by Radio 4's You and Yours. This is more relevant to people in the UK, um, but basically You and Yours is a programme that deals with consumer issues. So if say there's been something that's really unfair on consumers, like a huge price rise in electricity bills or something like that, well, they'll cover it on the um, radio show, but they take out little segments um, and they put it into a very short bite-sized podcast. I think it's the team behind the show that do it. And that's really, really good. Again, it's, it's not relevant to everyone if you're not based in the UK, but it can give you quite a nice insight into UK culture and how we deal with issues. Right, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, obviously no pressure to buy all these things. Um, they're just things that I've been enjoying and wanted to pass on and share the love. Don't forget to connect with me on all of my social media. I've got my Instagram and my Twitter and I shall see you soon for another video. Damn it, I almost said lesson again. <laughs> also, you always ask about my lipstick, so I'll mention it again. This is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Lip Tint in Plum. And it is amazing because it's sheer and moisturizing and it plumps your lips out and just gives you the most amazing color and because it's got a blue tone makes your teeth look white <laughs> right i'll see you soon for another video